Hi, I'm James Muir, and this is a screencast for Make More Noise. What we're going to do today is continue from our last tutorial, which was called Bypassing Plugins, and we're going to continue looking at the same theme, so bypassing plugins, but rather than the uh, more dry technical stuff, we're going to look at some creative uses for it. So, where we are? Well, basically, we're at the same place we were at the end of the last tutorial, except that I've added a couple more plugins, and then I've bypassed them. So I've got Logic's Low Cut EQ, and then uh, Logic's Distortion plugin. Okay, so the first thing, uh, going back to what I think I said in the first tutorial, is a neat little way of switching plugins on and off. Well, you can obviously use the bypass switch on the plugins, but if you've got the plugin window interface closed and you want to switch them on and off, you can move the mouse over them and then you can hold down the Alt key uh, or the Option key if you've got a newer Apple keyboard. They're the same key, uh, they're just called different things on different age Apple keyboards. And when you do that, you'll notice your mouse cursor changes shape. So it goes from being the traditional pointer to being an on-off switch. So if we put this into play, I'll switch these plugins on without opening the plugin interfaces, and you'll be able to hear what I'm doing. And you can obviously watch the cursor, see it changing shape as I hold down the key command to switch it on. So that's the Alt or Option key with the mouse cursor hovered over the plugin you want to switch on or off. So let's have a quick look at that. Okay, so that's a neat way of switching plugins on and off without going actually into the plugin interface itself. Uh, as this uh, tutorial is all about bypassing plugins, it seemed a shame not to cover that. Let's move on a little bit and look at automating these plugin bypasses. So if we switch automation on, which we can do by coming up to the top here and clicking the automation button or using the key command A and hold down the uh, <coughs> drop down menu for the automation parameters, You'll see we've got all the parameters here for our distortion plugin, our low cut, our free G, and our tube tech, traditional volume, which I think we've discussed before, and pan, which I know we've been through before. But if you come up and look at the main menu, you'll see you've got these uh, insert one, two, three, and four bypasses. So to know which plugin you're bypassing, you just need to count down your channel strip. So insert one will be the tube tech, insert two will be the free G, insert three will be the low cut and insert four will be the distortion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the low cut bypass, and then bring it in, have a couple of bars with it full, and then I'll bring the distortion in for the last couple of bars. So the first thing to do then is to go to insert three, and as you'll see, it says at the top there, bypass. And unlike the other plugin parameters we've dealt with in the past, this doesn't have anything in between the top and the bottom. So it's either on or off, which means by pulling the node right down to the bottom, you've actually got it switched on and then to bypass it you just click to create another mode node sorry and then you can drag that where you like so we'll line that up with the first beat of that bar and then at that point it'll be bypassed and then if we click and hold that drop down again we can go main insert four bypass drag that down to the bottom sorry leave it on uh, we actually want that one bypass to start with don't we that was what i suggested i'd do and then I can unbypass it for the last couple of bars by clicking to create another node, and then I can just line that up with the beginning of the bar again. If you want to see both of the um, automation data lanes in uh, at the same time, you can use this disclosure triangle there. And if you drop it down, you'll see we've got both on at the same time. So we can actually see that we're bypassing insert three and switching on insert four. And again, if you look at the plugin interfaces here, you'll see that these coincide switching on and off with our automation data and then finally what I'll do is I'll pan across to the actual channel strip so you can see them switching on and off here as well. And that's how you bypass plugins in Logic. That also works with third-party stuff. It's not just the built-in stuff. 
using automation to bypass plugins for creative effects. And again, this can be really, really useful if you've just got a four bar section of a vocal or a guitar part or a drum loop that you want to process rather than chopping that section out using the scissor tools, dragging it down to another track, then processing on that track, you can just bypass the plugin on and off. So you can have four bars of wild, crazy effectiveness, bypass it so it's back to completely flat again. Hope you found that useful. I'm James Muir, and this has been a screencast for Make More Noise.